you kind of thumb off whatever the, the numbers you wanted to hit this last meet, you write the new ones. And it's like, I'm committed to that now. Saying like to sit there and keep doing the same stuff over and over and over again. Um, now, I guess one caveat I need to put out there for those that are listening is if you feel like you always have to fall onto recovery modalities, then maybe you need to reassess your training, mm -hmm. right? Because they're just, they could just be doing way too fucking much right? and they need to dial it back. But there still comes a point where you're going to need it to be, especially in higher volume stuff that you're doing because yeah. <clears throat> Well, you know, there's there's joint soreness, there's muscle soreness. Like the, the joint soreness becomes ah fuck, you know. Then you got to start. What is it? The training? Like what's going on? Right. The muscle soreness is when you kind of click into okay, listen, I'm fell off. I should be fucking walking. You know, you're not doing. You you know what you're not doing. Right. And fucking calories aren't high enough. Hydrations. You you shouldn't be as sore as you are. Right. You know and um. That will change for actually now you're at the end of a volume phase, so you probably shouldn't be getting very sore at all. No, I feel you know, like I said, even just you know, I wasn't taking, I was taking pretty good breaks in, in between these these last sets and stuff, but like kind of leading up to it, like you know, like I said, I was doing the triples basically going into this the last block I was doing, so everything was ninety seconds, so I was feeling super conditioned. So this time it was like I'm still trying to keep my rest periods nice and low, but like I don't, know, I just feel I feel like I'm in very good shape right now. Nothing's too banged up or whatever. So so it's almost like a good place to like just all right, cut it. Let's take a deload and then let's go into the next block feeling like if I feel great, like I don't want to get greedy with it. You know what I mean? Like this feels good. Let's move on to the next phase and keep plugging away, you know? So there was um when we put the post up on Instagram, Jordan Wong posted something about ask him about the whiteboard. Yeah. So is there a story behind that? Uh, so, I mean, I have, you know, like I said, I have. I have open powerlifting up on my computer all day and uh, I have this little whiteboard and I think, you know, it's like cheesy, like writing down your goals or whatever, but I have this little whiteboard that's, it's up in, you know, in between my, my two monitors. So it's, it's right here and it's got a list of every single meet I've done, the numbers I've hit at those meets, the dates, everything else like that, PRs, and then the goals I have for my next meet. And it's like, you know, literally I was talking about writing that program after the last one, like I... You know, as soon as I came home, I updated the board. It really sucked to write 2303 on there, like, because it's, it's a lower number. Yeah. Uh, uh, literally a track record of seven years of just only going up. And now it hurt to write 2303 on that fucking board. And, um, you know, you, you kind of thumb off whatever the, the numbers you wanted to hit this last meet. You write the new ones. And it's like, like, I'm committed to that now. And it's like, I'm going to look at that every single day. And it's like, it kind of holds me like accountable, you know what I mean? Like it, it's, it's something that like, you know, I'm, I'm instilling in my mind, like I will do this. I have to do this. I wrote it down kind of thing. And like, you know, kind of, I've done all my, my entire powerlifting career. I've had this, this one whiteboard. I mean, it's like falling apart at this point. You know what I mean? I got it from like staples or something like mm -hmm. that, but it's like, it, it's like, you know, like my old crusty belt or something. It's like a good luck charm. Like I have to, if I'm going to, you know, do, do a meter or prep, I have to have the board. I have to sit there and write it on there and stuff. And like, you know, when I took that break, that 14 month break, like I had to put the, the board away for a little bit. Cause it's like, it almost was like, you know, I, I'm not committed to something like I can't look cause I'm going to, if I, if I have it up and I set it up, like that's like a switch in my head. Like, like it's time to get a little obsessed with it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I'm, li I literally, I'm looking at it all day and, um, you know, it's, it's kind of like my, my weird little, little way of just kind of like motivating myself, I guess, or just holding myself accountable. Like, you know, if I'm slacking, like I said, I'm not doing my walks or if I'm not doing my mobility or whatever. And it's like, you look at that and it's like, well, are you setting yourself up to be in a position to do these numbers? You know what I mean? And especially now having that, like I said, 2303 on there, like, do you want to do that again? Do you want to sit there and undershoot what you, what you sat there and put on the board? Cause I mean, for the majority part, like you said, I have everything pretty dialed in typically if i write it on there like i'm being honest with myself i know like what i'm capable of and um even even now i mean like it's like it's it's 10 more pounds on the squat i just did it's five more pounds on the bench than my best bench ever and it's like 10 more pounds on my deadlift i mean it's not very hard to, and you know add but it to do it all on the same day and execute everything on the same day we, we were talking about that's the skill part it's not just being strong enough to hit these numbers these numbers i've been attempting my last two meets you know what i mean for the last two years i've been swinging for these numbers and i know i'm close you know what i mean i've held the bench in my hand that i need to hit for this total i've i've tugged at the, the weight that i need to sit there and pull and i've had the weight on my back that i need to squat 
and I've gotten damn close to all of them, you know? So it's not something that it's like this outlandish thing of like, like we, all, we all see people online that are like, you know, I just did this, but now next meet I'm going to do 150 pounds more. Or I'm going to do this. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, I know it's close and I know I'm there, but it's like, it's just stacking enough chips in my favor with the walks, the training, the recovery, you know, enough. I always sit there and say, if I can sit there and string just a training day and then do another one and then another one, and another one, it's like, for me mentally, it's like, if I only have had six months of good training days, then it's like, there's no reason for me not to perform at the meet. Like I've done everything I needed to sit there and do. And it's, you know, it's not, I wouldn't even say it's a confident thing, but it's just like, I know that like, if I've done this, like this will yield this result just based on the data that we have, you know, for seven years of competing and prepping and everything else. Well, I think it's, I'm a big believer in, you know, a vision board or, you know, writing down what you're what to do. And I don't like the word goal. I like the word objective. It's a whole different thing there because yeah. you can undershoot all this, but having the object front and center, first off, there's no negative to that. Right. So nobody's ever going to tell me there's a negative of that. Yeah. Um, secondly, I think it makes it easier for people to make just normal decisions over the course of a day, mm -hmm. because it, is this important or is it not? Right. So there's drama going on on fucking Instagram about whatever it is. And this is sitting right there. Mm -hmm. It's a reminder you like, is this really important or is this more important? Because if this is taking me away from, you know, the focus on this. And if it's powerlifting, it could be powerlifting, it could be business, it's whatever it's going to be. You know, it's a set objective that you're trying to work toward. Right. You may not hit it, but there's still, what's the negative of working toward it? Right. You know, most people are just, they're not. And then they get pulled into all these other directions. And then a year will go by, two years will go by, and they'll wonder why and the fuck they're nowhere further along. Mm -hmm. Like, well, you didn't have, you might have had a, I don't even want to say a bit, you might have had an idea. But that never, you had a dream that maybe turned into an idea, but it never became a vision that could be executed on. Right. And certainly never something that was a reminder on a daily basis, and, you know? And I feel like I work pretty good off of, uh, what, what's the saying? It's like making a mountain out of a molehill. Like, I like to sit there and like, you make it bigger in your head than it really is. You know what I mean? Like, I'm talking about that, that 2000 pound total originally, and it was like this big grandiose thing. And it's like, I, I'm, I'm shooting for it and I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get to it. And even like little things like, I mean, I don't, you probably have done this too, where it's like, you kind of like make things to piss you off mm -hmm. that like, they're really not there to piss you off, but like you make it like that. So you can kind of feed off of it, you know, talking to Jordan, like we were getting ready for that ghost meet, uh, the Miami meet. And, um, I would go down to his gym, which is in Northport. I'd probably drive an hour down that way and stuff. And I was going for the squat record, which was Rob Phillips's squat record. And he was going for Joe Sullivan's squat record. Mm -hmm. And so we printed out two pictures of Rob Philippus and Joe, and we put them right behind the, the squat board or the, the mono lift. So every single time we were going up to squat, it's like, you look right at that, like, mm -hmm. and like, you know, that's like cheesy, whatever, but it's like, I'd get fired up at it. You know what I mean? Cause they're, doing, you know, they're talking shit and they're like, you're really not going to squat his mate, his weight. You're really not going to do mm -hmm. this. Like he's looking at you right now. You're not going to do this. And, um, you know, and it's just like, it's funny. We're getting pissed off at a picture on the wall, but like little stuff like that, you know. If you like this video and want to see more like it, click here.